Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Fallon. Welcome to my video channel and my video blog. And um, I've been in my office all day today videotaping and I had all my lights set up here in my consultation room. I'm actually videotaping a uh, case study module for my occlusion design online coaching program. And uh, it's a full mouth rehabilitation case that I treated about a couple of years ago and it has some interesting qualities and uh, that's case number two for my what I call applied occlusion design. I set up a series of case studies after the occlusion design course was completed to uh, show the members of the course how I'm using the the uh, the protocols and systems that I'm teaching in actual cases start to finish. So it's been a really good case study. I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. I have to go and edit all of the video now, but uh, I just thought while I have all these lights all set up, I would um, give a little quick video blog tip. And this is a tip that um, I, uh, I just came up with this summer and it's about sterilizing photography mirrors and um, we hired a new assistant this year and um, don't worry my main assistant Amanda is still with us uh, but we hired another assistant to help with my associate and kind of be a floater and um, she had this tip when she saw us sterilizing our mirrors we typically used to bag them and sterilize them and they'd come out of the autoclave with all these uh, watermark stains on the uh, mirror surface that we'd have to clean off and uh, she said in her other office they would wrap the mirror in a paper towel so just take a big paper towel wrap the mirror put it in the bag and sterilize it, something like this, or this one. You know, I have a lot of occlusal, sterilize, occlusal photography mirrors. And uh, by the way, I use titanium uh, front surface mirrors. The titanium mirrors have higher reflectance, so you get brighter images and it's easier to focus on your occlusal photos. Uh, but these wrapped mirrors in paper towels, I didn't know if this would work, but I'll share with you some photos and if you look, here's a case where we did a little case study. We did uh, unwrapped and wrapped mirrors, put them through the autoclave. I took them out, unwrapped the one wrapped mirror, unbagged the other mirror. Uh, they were both bagged, obviously, after they'd been autoclaved and looked at the surface. And miraculously, the bagged wrapped mirror is way better than the bagged alone mirror. You know, the surface of the bagged alone mirror has all the water stains that stuck on the surface of the mirror and dried, as opposed to the wrapped mirror that's been wrapped in a paper towel. The paper towel, I guess, absorbs all the water after autoclaving and the statum, which we use. And then the surface of the mirror is really clean. It doesn't have water stains on it. And it's easier to just take it out of this packaging and this paper towel and just use it. You can just use it. It's much more efficient. And so I thought that was one of the best tips I've seen in a couple of months, especially for digital photography. I thought I'd share that with my entire list, not just my occlusion design members. And um, we've had a number of people emailing us asking us about, uh, hey, I missed joining the occlusion design uh, course can I get on the mailing list or the, the waiting list? And um, we have a waiting list. Um, we'll put a link under this video. And the waiting list is just to give you advance notice when I re-release the course. And if you look next month in October of 2012, I'm planning to re-release the course or reopen the course for a new class. I'm just finishing the initial class. I'm just finishing the Applied Occlusion Design case studies this month and we're holding our last couple of webinars that were part of the course. And uh, the, the course itself, the online membership site and the webinars and the whole combination of all the material I think has been fantastic. It's really, I believe, the best material I've ever done, the best teaching material I've ever put together, ever, ever. It's um, by far my best work. 
and I've had a lot of people tell me they've been very happy with uh, being a Collision Design members and they've really enjoyed the program. And it's really a structured program teaching you A to Z how to do more complex dental cases. So if you're interested in finding out more, just to add your name to our waiting list and we'll email you some information next month. If you're not, that's no problem. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little tip on photography mirrors. And if you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them beneath this video. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.